What's up guys? My name is Sasha Kalistratov and today I am in the city of Chelyabinsk. Chelyabinsk is one of the biggest cities of the Euro region and it used to be the main center of trade routes uh, back to the times of the Tsar. That's, that's why the symbol of the city is a camel and it's kind of weird because it's very cold here in winter and it's impossible to meet here any camel in real life. But today it's extremely hot. Now I'm going to show you this industrial city. Chelyabinsk is known as an iron heart of Russia and there is no wonder that people here spend time outside even when it is so hot because it is even hotter in numerous Chelyabinsk plants. For example, this is the Chelyabinsk Metallurgical Plant, but there are many others like a tractor plant, mechanical plant, coal plant. On the 15th of February 2013, Chelyabinsk Meteor surprised the whole world. Now I'm going to ask citizens of Chelyabinsk about their memories of that day. My sister Valentina studies in Chelyabinsk Medical Academy and she's going to tell us about the day of the meteor. My impression was that it was kind of the end of the world. I noticed a giant flash, white like that, and then it was a big BOOM! I seriously thought it was the end of the world. Girls from my academy were squeezing like we all ran away outside of the academy like psychos. Many windows were broken, shards of glass were on the floor. And then something flared up and it seemed to me that a cloud of dust began to burn. But nothing was really burning. I was scared and I wanted to call my mother, but no service was available. When I finally called her, I asked her, Mom, are you alive? What's going on? And my mom answered as usual, Nothing special is going on. That's just a meteor. I have one more question. In the Western media, they were discussing that Russians didn't react really emotionally to the meteor. What do you think about that? What do you mean not emotionally? Okay, I remember a video on YouTube. It was a guy in the car and he didn't... Ah, he didn't pay attention to that flash? Yes, you got what I mean. Why do you think some people reacted that way? Oh, we are people from Europe. So a giant flash in the sky is not the biggest thing that people have seen in their lives. Thank you, Valentina. Good evening. Could you please tell me what do you remember about the Chelyabinsk meteor? What can you tell us about it? When the meteor appeared, I remember it was the Saint Valentine's Day. I had a lunch in my school. And everyone began to yell, Terrorists! Terrorists! I was really scared and then my friends told me that it was a meteor and a giant flash. She had a lunch time, that is why the waves of the meteor didn't reach her. Thank God everybody is alive and that is the main thing. In the Western media, they said that people in Russia reacted to the media calmly and neutrally. What do you think about that? Did you have any panic? Of course, uh, you have a panic when everybody is yelling about terrorists and then they evacuate you from school. But after all, you laugh about that with your friends and you realize that nothing dangerous happened. So it is kind of a 15 minute panic. And you feel a little bit nervous because something else can happen after that. But all in all, we were kind of calm. This is the Romanov Gallery, the Chelyabinsk Museum of the Euro region. In this gallery, there are many portraits of Russian Tsars and Tsarinas. There are also different kinds of artwork, especially from the city of Zlatovost. I'm going to show you this city one day because many different kinds of artworks, especially from gold and other uh, expensive materials, are made there even today. A long time ago, many giant animals used to live in the Euro region 
and this part of the museum is dedicated to uh, different kinds of animals like this giant bear. This gallery is dedicated to the Russian culture of the 19th century. Here we see the so-called Izba. Izba was a kind of very Russian traditional house of the 19th century. Also we see here a pech. Pech is a traditional Russian oven. Different kinds of national clothes of uh, different peoples of the South Euro. Uh, different kinds of weapons and things uh, that were common for reality of factory workers. This is a Russian market of the 19th century. They used to sell different kinds of bakery, fruits and vegetables, and also samovars, traditional Russian tea pots. Russian Orthodox Christianity is the most spread religion in Russia. That is why in this museum uh, many things are dedicated to the history of the Russian Church. This gallery is dedicated to the Chelyabinsk of the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, that is why here the design of this time is represented very well. Also, there are different kinds of clothing, transport and other things that were uh, very common. So today I visited Chelyabinsk, the city of hard labor and fine meteorites. Next time I'm going to show you some other Russian cities. Please subscribe for this channel. Goodbye for now.